<clears throat> All right. So um, this is just a quick session. Um, 20, 30 minutes ka session hai, jahan pe I'll be discussing uh, what are the requirements for the coming IFOA attempt, which is starting from um, 11th. All right. So the very first thing which I uh, want to discuss is I hope all of you have done equipment check, which is very important. Uh, you have got the mail from uh, IFOA, where you have got the setup link. So when you click on that link, um, us link ko click karke, then it will take you to the portal where you have to put your ARN. Dalne. Then you will put your mobile number. You will get an OTP. Uh, you have to put your OTP over there. Uh, you have to create your own password. Make sure you remember your password uh, for future. Or what can you do? The link that you have link the portal, ka link hai, you all can um, just pin that link. Okay, uh, As a bookmark, you can bookmark your link, that link because that will be used in your exam. Uh, see portal, pe you will get the exam paper. And you will get the, um, you will upload your answer script basically in that particular portal itself. So it's very important that you all uh, bookmark it. Also, uh, then after you log in into the portal, there is uh, equipment check option. So in uh, starting May, it will be showing you in a red color that the equipment check is not done. Once you complete the equipment check, both download check and upload check. After that, uh, it will show you a green bar where uh, it will show equipment check is done. Uh, now, again, it is very important that you do equipment check for all the papers. So suppose if you're, if you're appearing for CM1, paper A and paper B. So make sure paper A and paper B, dono ke liye separately, aap log equipment check karo. Okay, it should not be that uh, if you have done it, it will not be done. You separately dono ke liye equipment check karna hai. And if you're appearing for two papers, then uh, you'll have to do equip equipment check for maybe if you're appearing for CM1 and CB2, then CM1, paper A, paper B, and CB2. So this is your process where you have to do equipment check, complete, karne, download, and upload both. Upload me, make sure um, jo aap lo word file upload karo, usme maybe you can write something your you can write your name or anything, uh, demo, jo bhi likke, you, if you cannot upload a blank um, word file, so that is there. Another thing um, is Excel upload karne ke liye bhi aega for paper B. So make sure you look properly Excel upload karke dekho that whether it is uh, properly happening or not. All right. So um, this is the basic requirement um, for your um, equipment check, which is very important. On the day of exam, if someone is doing it, you don't exam paper download nahi kar So I'll just quickly raise a poll in the, chat, uh, in the chat and I want to know whether all of you have done the equipment check or not. All right. Um, so let me just quickly. Vanshika, can you just quickly create a poll? If it's happening, whether all of you have done equipment check. Yes, no, khali de dena. So I just have a good heads up that you have done All right. So um, after this, um, one more thing is Excel se copy paste. Now, uh, recently, again, IFOA shared a mail uh, talking about Excel. So it's the same thing, nothing new. You can copy paste from Excel to Word. For example, if uh, in CM1, uh, if you all have done uh, profit testing ka table, aaya, so you've created a profit testing table in Excel and you are pasting it in Word. Now make sure when you're pasting the table, your formulas are not pasted right in Word. So you have to explain your working like we have discussed in class. So what you all can do is first um, row me ato, you can uh, just explain what you have done in the first row because it will be same for all the rows in profit testing table. And if some rows are different, for example, in case of maturity benefit, you can mention it separately. Or below the table also, there are students who explain uh, the workings below the table. Both are equally fine. All right. So it depends on you how you have practiced so far, but make sure you can definitely copy paste. Um, Okay, so the poll has been launched. Quickly just uh, reply in the poll. Um, have you all done equipment check or not? All 
All right. So after this, uh, another thing which is very important, Excel, we have discussed it. Um, so whenever you're copy pasting, for sure you can do it. Goal seek. Now most of you are asking that uh, premium calculation if you are doing using goal seek. So um, should we um, mention goal seek in paper A? No, you cannot mention goal seek in paper A because uh, you need to understand one thing. In paper A, they want to check your concept. All right. So for example, uh, I hope most of you have done CM1 over here. So I'll just take a CM1 example because Excel, CM1, CM2, dono mein hai. And for CS1 students, CS2 students, you all don't use Excel, you all use R programming. So, for example, I'll give two examples over here. One is for goal seek. So, here, for example, if um, I, have cal I have to calculate the premium. Now, premium is being calculated using the equivalence principle where you have PV of income equal to PV of outgo. So, this a particular uh, equation needs to be mentioned whatever and however you have studied in paper a so far you have solved compiler sums you have to solve it in the exact same manner you can take help of excel but you cannot mention it in your word file that using goal seek that is wrong they will not give you the marks so it's very important you mention the equations that you have um used all right when I say equations, paper A equations, PV of income, PV of premium equal to PV of benefits plus PV of expenses and all that. All right. Similarly, let's just uh, talk about CS1, CS2 students. For example, aap log ko bohat bar alpha value, nik, uh, um, phi alpha nikalna hota hai. Uh, so basically CDF of standard normal distribution and all that. So for that, some people ask me that, instead of uh, you know doing interpolation can we find out directly using excel or r you can but then um, you have to mention uh, properly ki apne wo values table book se liye. so what i will suggest you um, that please do not use uh, excel or r in that case uh, you can maybe confirm your answer from excel and r that if your answer is correct or not but you have to mention the table book referencing that this particular page number has been used in case of um, this particular standard normal uh, number uh, which I've taken out. All right, CDF, PDF, whatever. So another thing which is important over here is um, referencing. All right, so uh, specifically for CB1, CB2, and also for all the CMCS papers, and in fact, for all the papers for that matter, um, so wherever you have a theory question, it's very important that you give referencing. For example, CM1 ka baat kare. So usme, uh, generally it's a lot of numericals and all are there. But some numericals, for example, you have a retrospective and prospective reserve ka ek equation here. If you're using that equation, uh, then make sure you mention the referencing for that. Now, uh, do you have to do referencing for basic annuity formulas or assurance formula? No. That's very basic. You don't have to do it for that. But table book, if you've used table book somewhere, you've taken values from table book. Or maybe if I talk about CB2, uh, CB, uh, CS2 and CM2 students. So there are, there is quite a few theory in your paper. So uh, wherever you feel that Gumbel, Coppola, for example, CS2 student, if you have written formula, likha hai, so make sure you men mention the page number from the um, material all right so anything which you feel aapko khud se feel hona chahiye that ha yahan jana chahiye wahan ja sakta hai something which is very commonly used should not uh, you cannot you can avoid uh, referencing over there because obviously itna time nahi ki aap sab mein referencing dalo but very important you cannot skip referencing up uh, you can leave five marks but you cannot skip referencing why because I have seen in past students, um, you know, they um, IFA find students guilty if they are not using referencing and they're just quoting uh, material ka lines. They just quote and they have not given any kind of referencing. So make sure referencing up karo, bhale ya five marks come attempt karo. But please, referencing karna hai. Kaise referencing karna hai? Just um, I'll share it quickly in the chat box you have to mention um 
you have to mention if you are taking referencing from the material. All right. So I'm just putting down in the chat box. IFOA CM1 co-reading. Suppose I'm using co-reading of 2021. So whatever co-reading you are using, which is your CMP material, um, unit, unit is generally the chapter number. All right. And then the page number and then the paragraph number. So many students ask me, paragraph is important. Uh, yes, but if you are not able to mention the paragraph always, it's it's OK. You can skip it. But page number, unit number, and the before thing, IFO, CM1, co-reading 2021, unit I've mentioned in the chat box. You all can copy paste. Um, so this, you all, you all can just keep it with yourself. Uh, so this is very, very important. For CB2, I've taken separately class on referencing. Um, so CB2 students know how to do referencing. And same goes for CB1, which is, again, a complete theory paper. CB1, CP1, for that matter. All these are theory papers. So it becomes all the more important that you mention. Um, at least you mention uh, the unit and the page number from where you have taken the points. Right? Zada bhi us cheez ko leke nervous nahi hona hai. But most of the things where you think that this is different, hai, that place you can definitely, for example, if you are using a joint life entire formula, which maybe you have taken from the material directly, then make sure you mention the page number. All right. Uh, otherwise, if you have memorized the functions and formula, some functions, basic functions, that, which we use on a daily basis, then it's fine. You can skip for that. Same goes for CS2 students. Many things we use on a regular basis, but just say copulas, okay, mortality projection, Lee Cop, uh, Cooper model. So, uh, uh, so these are the things that you definitely mention that you have to take page number, se, se unit, se, wo formula. Li hai. All right, so this is about uh, referencing, and uh, again, I've also talked about Excel. Um, anything else, uh, you all can just quickly ask me in the chat box. Um, it is the same thing, Kanish. Combined material, book, and co-reading are same. All right. Uh, not exactly same, but you can write CM1, CMP. OK. Co-reading uh, is generally uh, the part which is there in bold. So we co-reading. So you can CMP. Use sab co -reading karte so you can mention CMP, whatever. Um, Yes, definitely, Janvi. Uh, so table book ka aisa hai na. Earlier, when we used to have theory papers, like when we used to write the papers, at that point of time also, we mentioned uh, that we take we are taking values from table book. So you can just quickly write from table book page number. That's it. You don't have to exaggerate. And we used to do it when back uh, in 2000, uh, I gave my first paper CT1 in 2000. 16 September. So at that point of, yeah. So at that point of time, also I've written. I remember very well. I've written from C for CT1, CH, CT5, page number of table book. So it's all the more important that you mention uh, it right now as well. Um, no, Kanish. Table book page number AM92. You can write, but make sure you write page number. Uh, table book AM92 page number, and uh, yeah. Yeah, you can do that, Hardik. No, Nidhi, if you're referring uh, to notes, uh, then again, uh, you have to mention the um, referencing because I the examiner will not know from where you have taken this particular point. Now, again, very important thing regarding uh, AI tools like ChatGPT, please, please do not use it. First of all, you will never get the correct answer. All right, because I have seen quite a few things, you will not get the exact correct answer. And secondly, if you're using ChatGPT, they will understand that you have used it because uh, ChatGPT also uses a lot of different websites. So they will understand and they will consider it to be plagiarism. You will get the mail, you will be banned for, uh, from IFO examinations for coming two years. So it's very, very important that you do not use any kind of AI tools. And at the same time, you do not use internet as a whole. All right. So do not use, do not do any kind of Google searches. Whatever you have studied so far, whatever material you all have, just trust that. 
just trust that don't use any external media all right um yes monish i have mentioned about that excel just make sure you give the workings and everything is there vishaka you've uh, heard wrong i don't know from where you have heard this copy pasting is not allowed from another word files past paper referencing is very much doubtful dipali i am not sure i don't think you can do that because past pa paper solutions which you all get is by acted okay um is the examiner's report basically that you get so i am not sure whether you can use it i don't think you can you can only refer see whatever is there in examiner's report is also there in your material just that it's framed in a different manner so you can definitely mention you know where this particular topic is for example gross reserve or gross premium reserve are there they're talking something about it so you know where it is in your material you can mention that and you can frame it in your way, own way obviously it will change with every question so you don't have to take any past paper referencing that's not allowed you have to just you can just take referencing of the material itself nothing else no you cannot uh, yeah in the same uh, you can kartike in the same word you can so uh, do not save any kind of equations uh, so that also is uh, prohibited another thing file renaming so in the file renaming you have to mention for example i am appearing for cm1 paper a then i will write cm1 paper a uh, you can mention april 2023 or you can even avoid it earlier it was compulsory and you have to give your arn please don't forget to give your arn in the file name because otherwise there is uh, no way they will be able to find out whose paper this is and they will not be able to give you the marks uh, so it should be for example if i am appearing for cm1 so i just give my arn first any which way arn cm1 paper a april 2023 this you can write or you can also avoid april 2023 it's up to you both ways it's fine and similarly cm uh, arn cm underscore cm1 underscore cm1 b underscore paper 2 that you can write paper 1 uh, is for um cm1 a and paper 2 is paper uh, cm1 b all right do not get confused between the slots that if slot 1 is paper 1 and slot 2 is paper 2 no it's not that both are uh, cm1 a both slots are paper 1 cm2 b both slots is paper 2 all right so this applies to all uh, the papers if you are referring for cb1 cb2 mention your arn within the word file within the word file you don't have to mention your arn nothing earlier like i think last to last year we used to mention arn within the word file but now no more you don't have to mention your arn anywhere within your word file all right so this is there is it compulsory to write values of px and qx when we solve first using first principles i did not get your question sorry matlab uh, obviously p values of px qx to likhne padenge can we copy this i have taken monish um see kanishk uh, you can in one line only you can mention from table book page number 160 161 162 like that all right um sakshi if you are taking it from compiler or past papers you know you should know i believe you should know that in which chapter this particular thing is for example if you are talking about npv it is somewhere i think uh, i don't exactly remember cb1 but somewhere towards the end of the chapters so you know the chapter number right so you can mention that at least 
nothing in header header uh, and photo i've mentioned that uh, no hit harsh you don't have to what do you mean by proofing hartik font size and font style uh, style you can keep calibri itself and size uh, it can be i think 11 um it's there in your um, examination handbook quickly let me just confirm so um i don't think they have mentioned the exact font size yeah the line spacing is 2 but the font size they haven't mentioned you can keep 11 and you can keep it calibri okay you can keep it calibri and you can yeah i've searched for it no 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 not 14 proof 14 is very big you can keep it calibri you can keep it 11 that's it fine don't do anything else um yes definitions for sure you have to give referencing for sure hardik i will not suggest using any kind of shortcut keys for any kind of letters or anything yeah you can i mean shortcut keys for for example i think you have shortcut keys for lambda and all that uh that you can use all right that you can use to some extent but not that you have saved the entire equation no inbuilt functions see functions which are inbuilt in word that you can use but you cannot create your own shortcuts that is wrong inbuilt shortcuts which are there for example control c is an inbuilt shortcut similarly you have some inbuilt shortcuts for some of the greek letters so you can use that but you cannot create your own shortcut that is wrong you cannot do that uh see it's a good practice that you start every answer in a new fresh page now again over here it's a word file so it doesn't matter um that if you are moving to the new page you are wasting page or as such nothing you can straight away move to a new page it's completely fine all right doesn't matter um another thing is uh, it's better that you start a new uh answer from a new page and also please make sure you write it in bold answer 1 or you can write it in capitals answer 1 and then you start part a part b whatever part 1 part 2 and uh every new question should start from every fresh question sh should start from a new page another thing which is important is that mcqs for example cm uh, cb1 cb2 has a lot of mcqs so that does not uh, need to be in a new page every mcq that can be in a single page you just have to mention a b c or d you don't have to even mention the option like what is there within the option you just have to mention the option name or number um Yes, line spacing too. They have mentioned in their um, handbook, and handbook video I have taken once, so it's there on YouTube. Um, we can share the link again. Both Unnati R, you have to copy paste from the console, so the code and the output both. I have shared one video on that as well. Make sure you see that video. no you will not receive and read only mode de pali uh, so what happens is another thing which is very important in paper b uh, especially in excel you all get the excel file from the institute the excel file and the question paper is in a zip format so when you download it make sure you know where you are downloading now there are students who don't even know that where the answer is getting where the question paper is getting downloaded please know where it is and that is why equipment check is important so you know where it is getting downloaded after that you unzip it all right do not just straight away start working in that particular excel file very very important for all the cm and cm to especially especially cm and students because you are your first time appearing for this paper so <clears throat> when you download the zip file make sure you unzip it unzipping is very simple you just have to when you open the zip file you get an option on top of 
uh, on top as extract all. So click on that extract all. All the files will be extracted to that particular location where your zip file is. Maybe if your zip file is in downloads, then you will get your all the files in the downloads itself. What you can do is you can take that uh, Excel frame file from downloads and you can put it in your desktop if you want. And then once you are sure that it's unzipped, then you open the file and start working. Or maybe you can rename your file first and then you can start working because renaming the file, Excel file is very, very important. Another thing, please make sure you maintain the time. Now, UK is four and a half hours behind us. So if, for example, your exam timing is 9 a.m., it means it will be 10, 11, 12, 1, 1 30 p.m. for us. If it is 9 a.m. UK, then for us, it will be 1 30 p.m. IST. Indian Standard Time, all right? And uh, you have to start, you have to download, you'll get the paper then, download it, create, first download your exam paper, then create your Word file. That should be the flow. And then start working. Three hours, 20 minutes is the duration that you get. So your exam will get over at 4.50. At 4.50 exact or maybe two minutes before, I am a very prudent student. I think all of you are, okay? So please two minutes or maybe in fact five minutes also, just save your work and close your file and upload it. Us last five minutes me apko chukhar nahi loge, okay? And there are students who wait for the very last moment. Ekdam jaisi 450 hoga, wo waisi close karenge and fir kuch wo wapas open karenge and your last modified time will change. And if your last modified time is changing. They will not check your paper for sure because ye unhone last past me bohat bar maaf kiya hai students ka. Aage they will not, uh, you know, excuse you for this. So even if it's one second ahead, even if it's four um, fifty uh, p.m. and one second ahead, just one second ahead, they will not check your paper. So please make sure. Uh, you can close it two, three minutes before itself, save and keep on saving your work after each answer. And you can put a sticky note as you can write save your work and you can put it somewhere beside your uh, laptop so that you remember that you have to keep saving your work. At least it's a very good uh, way of, you know, you'll not forget at least to save your work. So just put it somewhere where you can see. And also, you can put timer if you want at of four. Maybe your exam is getting over at four fifty, so you can put a timer of four forty five or four forty. Because when we used to have exams in physical format, then they used to always, you know, uh, just examiners say this that ten minutes are left or maybe five minutes are left. So that is again very important. You can put a timer so you know that okay, five minutes, ten minutes are left. I have to close my work, shut down, and upload. So that is very, very important that you all do on the day of exam. Also, the portal uh, which you open from where you download the exam paper, that remains logged. You can remain logged in for six hours. So what I suggest is uh, when you log, like you can log in, for, exam for example, my exam is starting at 1.30 p.m. You can log in at 1.15, 1.10, so, so you avoid any kind of you know last moment hurry. And uh, once you log in at 115, 110, whatever, then keep like just be logged in over there. You don't have to refresh or anything. Automatically at 130, you maybe you can refresh it once, or maybe it will definitely, you know, you will see the exam paper. You will click on it, exam paper is downloaded, start your exam. Do not log out. It, you know, because again, if you log in, every time you log in, you have to put in your phone number, they will send the OTP and everything. So don't do that. Be logged in. It is logged in for six hours at a stretch. Once you finish your exam, you can just go to your portal and upload your answer. Make sure you preview your answer before submitting. It has happened to students that they have uploaded the wrong file. So please, you can just review preview your file that you have some you are uploading a correct file or not, and then only click on the submit button. And once you click on the submit button, you will receive a mail, and also it will show you on the screen that your uh, paper has been uploaded successfully. Do not stress for last few days, which is left. Uh, this I have been talking to students a lot that be very, very relaxed, be very calm. Um, don't think about the output that if I fail, what will happen if I, you know, it's just a, just an exam. 
even if you fail your exam it's just an exam okay not more than that it's just a piece of exam that's it nothing else it's not your life so i have uh, been getting a lot of calls from students who are panicking a lot please do not panic i can understand this is your first exam for a lot of students this is your first professional exam just after your class 12th even for that matter students who have their second or third papers they also panic a lot even i me if i am appearing for my you know i've given so many exams after that also i feel a, a little stressed out and which is very normal for all the students all right so just be very much relaxed try to be calm and composed do not study uh, on your last day for example if my exam is tomorrow at least stop studying at 3 pm today okay that should be your like you have to have that mindset that relaxed mindset where you can recollect everything you are collecting all your thoughts together in one place so please uh, be very very relaxed it's just an exam jitna preparation karna tha you have done all right last moment me you cannot do any wonder okay last day pe aap kuch naya nahi pad sakte and for that matter i will suggest last 4 5 days me kuch bhi 4 5 days ke last 10 days me kuch bhi naya nahi padna chahiye unless you are very much confident on yourself you can but me as a student i never pick up anything new in last 10 days never do that and another thing which is very important is aap log सारे चीजों को गो थ्रू करो फॉर दीज लास्ट टेन डेज सो इफ आई सॉल्व एक्स असाइनमेंट्स आई हैव डन माय कंपाइलर पास पेपर्स आई हैव डन वाई असाइनमेंट्स आई हैव मे बी वॉट एवर यू हैव डन आई हैव रेड माय नोट्स एंड एवरीथिंग लास्ट टेन डेज शुड बी जस्ट रिवीजन ऑल राइट एंड जो भी है लास्ट फोर फाइव डेज है थ्री डेज है जस्ट रिवाइज वॉट यू हैव डन डोंट टॉक टू योर फ्रेंड्स no matter what if they are telling you a new topic just ignore them all right just ignore them don't ever talk to your friends before your exam unless and until they are telling something important ki exam mein aisa kuch matlab you have to keep in mind something like that but don't talk about your strategies with your friends don't talk about what you are studying with your friends it's not about being selfish it's about being calm and composed more you talk to your friends more you will be panicking कि वो ये पढ़ रहा है मैं नहीं पढ़ रही हूँ तो चीज है ना ये नहीं होना चाहिए आपके एग्जाम में कि आप दूसरों को देख के इंस्पायर हो ओके सो मेक श्योर यू हैव दैट इन यू दैट यू नॉट टॉकिंग टू योर फ्रेंड्स एट ऑल सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर देयर एंड अगेन प्लीज बी फेयर टू योर सेल्फ प्लीज अपर फॉर अर एग्जाम इन अ फेयर मैनो नो काइंड ऑफ एक्सटर्नल हेल्प इंटरनेट ए आई टूल्स वट एवर इट इज ओपन बुक का मतलब है कि आपका जो मटीरियल है दैट्स इट नथिंग एल्स ऑल राइट एंड गेस सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर देर बट मे बी ध्रूव आई विल नॉट सजेस्ट डूइंग ऑल ऑफ दैट एक ही फोन रखो ऑल राइट सो no you cannot do that kartike you cannot do that you cannot copy paste from any other document you cannot do that all right just kushbu uh, in case of cp3 examination 80 plus 20 80 marks is your earlier it was 90 now it's 80 your communication and 20 is your reflective questions other thing others other everything i have discussed in my class no not removing hashtags uh no you should just switch off the auto save again uh, thank you for pointing out palak very very important those who are using uh, maybe uh, creating word file in your desktop and you have one drive so generally you see that auto save option is switched on please switch off the auto save option and then start with your work why because uh, if your auto save option is on then what will happen is that if you are you know even if you are opening your file uh, it gets automatically modified and your saving time and your modified time changes so please do not use auto save option
All right. Anything else? Unnati, it is not uh, true for everyone. Auto save thing, okay? If it's there, it's there on the top left for you. If it's not there, it's not there for you, okay? So, okay, all right. Uh, quite a few things I've discussed over here. Um, any other doubts you all have, you can definitely mention in the chat or uh, in the group and you can tag me so I can reply it in the group itself for all the students. Um, all of uh, so, ek jan ka doubt hai, sabka clear ho jayega. I don't think Palak um, auto save on nahi hona chahi. This is what I will say. Agar word apka bar bar hang ho raha hai, to I think there is a issue in your laptop. So make sure aap uspe kuch dhyan do. But aap usko continuously save karte raho na. So I don't think wo fir ek issue hoga. Two minute usko do, to maybe wo thik ho jayega. If that is uh, true for you. All right. Uh, okay. So thank you so much, students. Please uh, be very much relaxed. Uh, just an exam. Failure is a part of life. Success is a part of life. Not your entire life. Keep this in your mind. And ये जो पूरा process है पढ़ने का अच्छे से पढ़ाई करो. But please इस चीज को अपने दिमाग में रखो कि आपको एक proper sleep, drinking proper uh, water. Having a calm mindset, all of these things are very, very important because I have also, I am also a student, and I also face same anxiety as you all do. But uh, it's very important to be very much relaxed. जो जो student relax रहेगा ना exam के पहले वो बहुत अच्छे से अपना exam दे पाएगा. So make sure you know, uh, you know, you have this in your mind. All right. So this uh, particular uh, video uh, session will be put up uh, tomorrow latest. We'll try to put it up today itself. It if uh, if it ha happens on our YouTube channel and uh, Shiva will share it uh, on all the groups. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, Kartike. Yes. Three hours, 20 minutes. Correct. You are correct. Um, thank you so much students. Uh, all the very best. And if you all have any, any doubt, please, you can mention in the group and you can tag me. I can reply over there. Please be relaxed. Okay. Thank you. All the best.